friends, it is me, Alana. Welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. For this video, I am doing a spoiler-free book discussion on The Beautiful by Renee Audier. Oh my gosh, guys, this book is crazy good. I loved it. Okay, so first of all, I've never read anything by Renee Audier before at all, like, never picked up any of her previous books or anything like that so I was kind of intrigued to like pick this up and see what her writing was like and stuff like that also I was a little skeptical because I'm not the biggest fan of historical fiction most of the time I just like sometimes I just find it boring and I just have a hard time to connecting with it but this literally blew my mind and I loved it so much I gave this Five out of five stars, first of all. Also, thank you to Penguin Teen for sending me an arc of this because I literally died because it's just so, so good. In case you don't know, so this <laughs> one is about vampires because, yes, like I had to have it because I was like, I need to, I, I love vampires. I need to know how this will go. This is about a girl named Celine who journeys from Paris to New Orleans because of reasons that take place before the book starts and you kind of learn about them as the book goes on obviously and she winds up staying at this convent where uh they promise to like house them until they can find a suitable place for them to be most likely it'll be like a marriage uh honestly considering the time period and in this she meets sebastian <laughs> or bastion and he is this dark, mysterious uh, soul she meets, and from there, the adventure kind of ensues. While this is happening, there are murders happening in the city, and the murderer kind of sets their sights on her because of various, various reasons, and uh, it it's very, like, intriguing because you're just spending the time thinking who done it. The thing that I loved about this was that you get multiple POVs in the story. So you get Celine's, you get Bastion's, uh, you get some other people's as well. And you also get the killers, which I found intriguing. I also love when books do that. Like my favorite series is The Naturals. And in that series, you have the main person's POV, but then you also get the killer's POV, and you're kind of like learning their mindset behind like why they're doing the things they're doing, like how they're choosing their victims and stuff like that. And you kind of get the same thing here, and it's so good. I was like, oh, I loved it. Like that's it made me like I bumped it up a star because of that because I love when like authors do that, and especially in books like these. I loved the diversity in this book. So Celine is uh, biracial. She is Asian, and European, white, however you like to say that. So I thought that was super cool. And you don't really get a lot about her heritage, her Asian descent, because she doesn't know as much. But uh, I'm hoping this will be explored more in the next books because uh, I have a feeling that it's gonna like play a big role in this whole plot series thing going on. Also, the main character, the other characters are very diverse as well. You have a queer character that appears, which I'm hoping that they will appear more and more throughout the series. Um, you kind of see them a lot in this book, but you don't really get a lot of like personal interaction with them, honestly. So I hope that like changes. And then uh, Bastion is a mixture of, he's, I think he's, has Hispanic heritage and I believe he's also mixed with African American which during that time I don't think they were African American they were like black but either way he has that mixture and there's another character they're like there's just a lot of characters who are very diverse from different cultures in this one city which I truly loved because also I don't know if that's like not that it has to be historically accurate obviously because this is a fantasy book about vampires but I loved that like that was a thing because I don't know if that was really a thing in New Orleans and if it was that's really cool and I love that so I love that this that was an aspect in this book. Hey friends, editing Alana here. I also want to add in that uh, this book has a big like squad thing going on too so like kind of like 
a Six of Crows vibe almost. Like, they're, obviously, they're not going to do, like, a heist or anything like that. But, like, how, like, Six of Crows has, like, the squad, like, Kaz and Inez and Nina. Um, there's a squad like that, too, in the book. And I love that because they're, like, a family squad. So you definitely get the family vibe from them. And that's one of, like, my biggest, like, loves in books is when there's, like, a squad of characters that are, like, family to each other. And so I'm adding that in into this, like... Thing just in case it entices you more to get this book because uh, the squad is amazing. I love them. I wanna. I hope we get to know, like, dive more into their stories uh, as the series goes on. And so, yeah, just wanted to add it in there. Basically, Bastion has his own squad. He's basically the Kaz of this world, and he has his own squad of misfits that uh, come together and like yeah form this family for him so that's fun and i'm just hoping that like again we explore more so that like celine can become part of this squad and then they'll be like a big squad family and just like i can fangirl so that's just me sorry okay continue on i also loved that a lot of the characters in this book challenged the fact that during this time period we women were in the role of like they won't they were to be seen and not heard in society they had a lot of strict rules placed upon them and how they're supposed to act and how they're supposed to be in society and i loved that a lot of the characters kind of threw those out the window or like spoke against it uh so that also intrigued me because like yes like don't don't limit us kind of thing too so i just like loved this book so much i'm trying to think of what else i can say without like spoiling it or like yeah um the whole i will say there is kind of like a love triangle and i personally i love bastion but the other person you meet is he's a they're up to par as well so I, I like could see why you you we would all love them as well editing Alana here again to gush some more also another thing about Selena and Sebastian is that they are super witty like a lot like throughout this book you get a lot of their witty banter uh, between each other and they don't hate each other at first but they have this like thing where they're just very annoyed by each other because they don't want to admit that they're attracted to each other and so they ignore it and deny it and then like basically <laughs> exchange uh, sarcastic sentences between each other and it's honestly one of the greatest things that I've read on <laughs> and I like tabbed all of those moments because it was just like so much sexual tension and I loved it so much and oh my gosh when I say like the moments between them were just like I could have caught on fire like just how much tension was there and I loved it because like there I feel like sometimes like authors either like overplay it or like it's just not there but I feel like with these two it was just like perfect like it wasn't too much but it was like enough to for me to be like oh my gosh I like it was yeah it was enough for me to fall in love with them as like a potential couple and I feel like the next book again I mentioned this was there's a love triangle and I'm not the biggest fan of love triangles but I feel like this book does it well um, I feel like the next book may focus on the other person which I'd be intrigued to see <laughs> if this person could out like make me love them more than Sebastian probably not but who knows what could happen but yeah I just wanted to add that in because again I'm trying to make you guys buy this book so that's why I keep interrupting this and hyping it up even more so hopefully this is convincing you if not then i don't know what else to say at this point <laughs> and the ending oh my goodness the ending was insane because you had multiple things happening and i was like okay what's like what's gonna happen next and one thing i was surprised about another thing i kind of had an idea about but I wasn't sure yet about it, so I was like, uh, we'll see. And then at the end it was like confirmed and I was like, oh my gosh, I was right. And then I was like, how did this happen? Because this one thing, like, they told you one thing and now it's proven wrong. And I'm like, how did it happen? Now I need to know like why this thing is the way it is. And I hope I'm saying this without being super confusing, but also, uh, 
the end, like the way it leaves off, I'm like, I need to know more. Like, I'm so sad. <laughs> like, I'm not sad, but I'm sad that I read this arc now because now I'm like, I have to wait a year for the next book and to find out what happens next because I don't know. Like, I know what I want to happen, but like, is it really gonna happen? I don't know. So like, yeah, I just, I love it so much. I will say this is like, I feel like this is the build, like the foundation, so like of the series. So like you're reading this book and it may seem kind of slow. Like I didn't find it slow personally. I felt like things were just happening at a, at a like, good pace for me. But if you find it slow, like I feel like this was just the beginning. Like it didn't dive into all the explanations and all of like the, like the, uh, like surprises of the world it was kind of like building the foundation for it so like this is it was kind of like a this is the landscape these are the the characters you're gonna have and this is like the open doorway like the door just opened to show you what's gonna like be going on but like you're not fully in it yet which I kind of enjoyed because it left me intrigued to read more I enjoyed Celine as well just because I feel like she was just so relatable in the aspect of she didn't fit into society she didn't fit into the mold they wanted her to be and after a certain point she was just like eh forget it like I'm not gonna fit it's fine I'm gonna like live my life and I appreciated that a lot Odette is another character that I absolutely loved because she was adamant to like fight the rules of society and she was just kind of herself and wasn't afraid to like be who she was and I appreciated that a lot as well Bastion is my forever love like as I was reading this I was like wow I really do have a weakness for the guys that like are dark and mysterious and kind of moody but at the same time they're really softies at heart like <laughs> I have that that's, that's my weakness and Sebastian is my weakness and I love him so much and I literally would die I found my new Edward Cullen <laughs> basically like yeah, so I just love this. I don't want to say any more because I don't want to spoil it and accidentally say something you guys don't want to know. Um, but you should totally buy this book when it comes out in October. I I am going to buy the book partially because I want to see like if it will have like a pretty like design or anything like that but also because i want to get it so i can read the epilogue because there wasn't really an epilogue in this and i need to know what happens next and i need to like I just need to know everything so I like want to get a physical copy of this as well also just to support the series because I think it's gonna be super good like obviously it's not gonna be like the next Twilight because I don't like comparing books like that but it I think it, it is good enough to maybe revive the vampire era maybe if not then at least it's a good like I don't know good reprieve back into that nostalgia of vampires so yeah, I'm gonna stop here before I like again ruin it for you guys or something. So, all right, so this was my books discussion. Sorry, it's short again. I didn't want to spoil anything, so I just like left it at that. Uh, if you like these videos, please like it down below and let me know that you like them because I'll keep making them for arcs that I get. Uh, if I can, if I can read them in time, sometimes I'm really bad at doing that. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment them down below. Uh, if you are not good at leaving any comments, I'm going to say leave me an emoji down below. I'm stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia for motion from it. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. And I really, really hope you, you all buy this book because I think it's just, it's beautiful and it's so good. And I just need to know what happens. So I need you to buy it. So she'll write a next, another one. So that way I can read that one and she'll just continue writing it and I can continue reading it because it's so good. All right, I'm going to leave you. Bye.